Hey everyone, welcome back. You know how sometimes you hear the words manager and director and it's like, are those really that different? Mm. Well, that's what we're tackling in this deep dive. Nice. We're going beyond job titles, folks, to figure out the real difference between being a manager and a director. Absolutely. And we're gonna be using some super insightful stuff from Roland Holm. He's got some really great thoughts on this. So get ready to uh, kind of rethink what it means to lead. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, people think that being a director is just about managing other managers, right? Right. <laughs> like, oh, you've been a manager for long enough. Now you're going to manage yeah. managers. Seniority thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's so much more than that. It really is. It's about a whole different way of thinking, a different approach to leadership. Yeah. Holm, he uses this really cool analogy. He compares the director to someone holding a map, you know, charting the course for a journey i like that and the manager is the one actually driving the wagons making sure things are moving and getting done okay so it's not just about climbing the ladder it's like you're switching gears completely you got it that makes me think about those times i've gotten a project with like really fuzzy goals yeah yeah and you got to kind of figure out the how all on your own exactly it sounds like that's what directors are doing all the time but on a way bigger scale yeah for sure see managers they're amazing at taking a plan and running with it they execute it flawlessly all right. but directors they create that plan in the first place wow so it requires a whole other skill set imagine a product launch for example okay yeah a director they don't just delegate tasks they define the whole market figure out the budget and decide, you know, how to measure success. The big picture stuff. So you're saying they basically got to predict the future. Mm. Like what if the market changes suddenly or the budget gets cut? That sounds kind of terrifying. It definitely can be. Holm actually talks about how being a director means there's no safety net. Oh, wow. You have to be comfortable making huge decisions with like limited information. Ugh. Yeah. And then you're the one who deals with the consequences. That takes guts. Yeah, it does. You need vision, obviously, but also this deep understanding of what your organization is all about and the conviction to keep pushing forward, even when people doubt you. So it's not just about having a great idea. It's got to be the right idea and you got to really believe in it. A hundred percent. Yeah. And it's not just any vision either. You have to think about the market your team dynamics, even how it aligns with the company's overall mission. That's a lot to juggle. How do you even develop that kind of director vision? Like, are you born with it or what? Now, that's where Holm gets really interesting. He says that you don't just magically become a director after working at a company for a certain number of years. Yeah, you don't get promoted just for showing up every day. Right. You have to actually work on developing the skills and the mindset. So what does that look like, practically speaking? Well, think about how you're approaching your own work right now. Are you thinking strategically? Do you take initiative even when it's not strictly part of your job? Mm -hmm. And can you like really make a case for your ideas? Especially when someone pushes back. Exactly. Those are all signs that you're building that director level mindset. It's about showing that you have what it takes, not just waiting around for instructions. You know, it's crazy how these words, manager, director, they seem so simple, right? Right. But there's so much more to them. Mm -hmm. It really shows how we think about leadership, you know? Like, mm -hmm. are we just giving orders or are we trying to figure things out, inspire people? It's a whole different ballgame. That makes me think about something we haven't really touched on yet. Communication. Oh, yeah, good point. You've talked about how directors need to communicate their vision. And obviously, communication is important for any leader. Absolutely. But do you think directors communicate differently than managers? I mean, they're dealing with different people different levels of responsibility. You hit the nail on the head there. It's a crucial part of being a director. Holm doesn't talk about it directly, but think about it. Directors, they've got to talk to the big bosses, the executives, mm -hmm. and they've got to talk to their team. So it's like two different audiences. Nope. Exactly. Yeah. Two totally different ways of communicating. So it's not just about being a good communicator. It's knowing how to adapt your style. You got it. When a director's talking to the higher ups, they got to be straight to the point, use data, talk about the bottom line. The numbers. Yeah, the numbers. But when they're talking to their team, it's about inspiring them, motivating them, making sure everyone's on the same page. It's like two completely different languages almost. 
it can feel that way sometimes. You've also got to be really good with people, too, mm -hmm. not just numbers and data. Oh, yeah, the whole emotional intelligence thing. Exactly. Holm doesn't really get into that, but it's so important for a director. <laughs> You're dealing with a whole team of managers. Each one's got their own personality, their own way of doing things. A good director can handle all that, make sure everyone's working together and you know, feeling good about it. Creating a good environment. Exactly. It takes a lot of self-awareness and empathy, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not just about having the map. It's about, like, being a good guide for the people driving the wagons. A hundred percent. And that brings up another thing. Building a strong team. Oh, yeah. Directors, they can't do it all themselves. Right. They need people they can trust, people who are good at what they do. The right people on the bus, as they say. Exactly. A good director can spot talent, help people grow, and make sure everyone feels like they're contributing. So it's like a team effort. Leadership isn't just a one-person show. Right. It's about sharing success, recognizing everyone's hard work, and building something that lasts, you know? Something yeah. bigger than just one person. It's making me rethink how I approach leadership, honestly. Yeah. It's easy to get stuck in the day-to-day -day stuff, but you got to take that step back. Think about the big picture. Build a strong team. Couldn't have said it better myself. And remember, it's a journey, not a race. Ooh, I like that. We're always learning, always facing new challenges, and that's how we become better leaders, you know? So even if we're not all aiming to be directors, we can still learn from these ideas, right? Absolutely. Whether you're leading a small team or a huge company, those core things we talked about, thinking strategically, communicating well, building strong relationships, those are important for anyone. For sure. And if you are on the director track, don't forget what we said about that no safety net. Right. You got to be okay with not knowing everything, with making tough choices, and you got to stick to your guns even when things get rough. Have that conviction. Yeah. And don't underestimate emotional intelligence. It's not just about being smart. It's about being in tune with people, connecting with them, building trust, helping them be their best. That's what makes a great leader, no matter what the title says. This has been eye-opening, really. We've gone way deeper than just manager versus director. For sure. We've really gotten into what it means to lead at any level. And we've only just scratched the surface, I think. There's so much more to explore about leadership, about ourselves, about how we can make a difference. It's a lot to think about. Yeah. What about our listeners? Do you think they're having similar thoughts? So have you ever felt that way? Like you had to kind of step up and lead, even if it was scary? Yeah. Tell us about it. Head over to F at al -Siraj. We'd love to hear those stories. Yeah, those are the moments you really learn what you're made of, you know? Yeah. When you push yourself. Absolutely. And maybe some of you listening are already doing those director things without even realizing it. It's not always about the title, right? Mm -hmm. It's about what you do, how you think. Exactly. So even if you're not a director right now, think about how you can use these ideas in your work. Yeah, like what can you do differently? Maybe it's taking more initiative, speaking at more in meetings. Or... You know, finding a really cool solution to a tough problem. Being creative. Yeah. Or maybe it's helping someone else out, being a mentor. Yeah. Or fighting for a new idea that could really help everyone. That's what it's all about. It's about going above and beyond, showing those leadership qualities. The vision, the conviction. Thinking strategically, being emotionally intelligent. Exactly. And hey, leadership is a journey. It's not like you just arrive one day. Nope. It's always evolving. There's always something new to learn, something new to try. So keep pushing yourselves, keep looking for those chances to lead, and keep making a difference. That's what matters. I love that. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, this deep dive has been awesome, really thought-provoking. I hope you all got a lot out of it, too. Yeah, me too. And if you're feeling inspired, if you want to share what you've learned, come on over to Ifat Al Siraj. Let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, everyone. Keep exploring, keep leading, and keep diving deep.